guys, so today we're going to be talking about the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation. So that's why I'm not wearing any makeup today because I'm going to be doing a first impressions review and demo. So I'm going to be trying it on for the first time. And this is my very first Makeup Forever Foundation. I haven't used anything like it before. I've never used a Makeup Forever Foundation before. So I'm actually really excited to share this with you guys today. The foundation came out yesterday, which was July 10. I live in Toronto and it was $56.95. Um, that was after tax before tax it was 50 bucks and from my understanding if you live in the States it's $43 so it's a lot more expensive here in Canada it's a really really expensive foundation I guess if you round it up it's about 60 bucks that's a lot of money this is the box that it comes in from my understanding this is what the old uh, formula formula of the foundation this is what the box looked like as well very similar only with the exception of the ultra on top of the HD and this is what the foundation looks like so only difference between this and the other packaging is just the silver rim right here this also has a pump action so it's really great um, it's very sanitary for applying your foundation so this is pretty much what it looks like and my shade is 177 or in the new shade it is Y505 so how I'm going to be doing this is I'm going to be doing the first impressions and demo first and then I will do a review afterwards and let you know all about the foundation so I'm going to be applying my foundation today and I'm going to be doing it with my Sonia Kashuk flat top kabuki brush so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to just go ahead and dampen my brush a little bit just so that it'll just help my foundation to spread a lot nicer onto my skin and then I'm just gonna give this a shake I don't know if I need to but I'm gonna give it a shake and pump it on the back of my hand I'm gonna start off with one pump first and then if anything if I ever need any extra coverage then I'll just add some more after so I'm gonna just warm that up on the back of my hand and put it on my face I guess the first thing that I can say is that this foundation is kind of not too runny it is it looks kind of almost a bit runny when you first apply it onto the back of your hand but then once I started rubbing it out um, it definitely thickened up a little bit but it doesn't feel oily it just feels really smooth going onto my skin now that I've applied it all over my face, I'm going to use my brush. I'm just going to buff it into my skin. Okay, so I kind of actually, I like how it applies. It blends into the skin really nicely. And it looks like a pretty good match for my skin tone. So now that it's applied, oh my gosh, it looks amazing. And I just let it sit for a little bit now. So it's really just kind of soaking itself up into the skin and it's just settling a little bit. I absolutely love the coverage on this one. I really like it oh my god it looks so good it looks so good it, it it just kind of it doesn't feel heavy i don't really feel like i'm wearing foundation and it just it looks like better skin i don't really know how else to describe it it just looks like better skin i absolutely love the coverage of this one i love how it just sits into the skin and just kind of like melts and it just becomes a part of your skin so to speak so i'm gonna go ahead and finish up the rest of my makeup and then i'll come back and give you a review and my thoughts on this foundation so i'll be right back okay bye so I am back and pretty much this is what the foundation looks like after I've applied all of my makeup. So this one has, you know, like setting powder, um, blush, highlighter, contour, lipstick, all of the extra stuff. And I absolutely love this foundation. I am going to tell you right now that it, it's probably replaced my Marc Jacobs foundation. And I'm, I'm a little sad, but also a little bit happy about that. This could easily be holy grail status. I'm not even lying. So this is pretty much what it looks like. As you can see, the foundation just really helps to kind of, uh, you know, like fill in all my fine lines, settle into my pores and like, you know, those um, 
acne prone areas of my face hyperpigmentation it's covered up really well I didn't do any extra um, concealer anywhere to cover up dark spots the only place that I put concealer is under my eyes and that's just to brighten them up a little bit but as you can see the discoloration that was around my mouth it's kind of almost completely gone and I <laughs> okay I need to calm down before I get ahead of myself I I'm I'm I'm, I'm in love I'm in love and also you can see too that once I've uh, set the foundation and everything it just the match just looks a lot more perfect I feel like I have a pretty flawless look I'm not even joking like I'm like sitting up now because I'm just like Ugh, let me get comfortable yes I'm wearing PJs and I don't know I really 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 like this foundation let's actually get into the specifics and let me do a review for you guys on my first impressions and let you know everything that I know about this foundation you get one fluid ounces of foundation which is typically the standard for when you buy foundation it also came with this sample of the makeup forever step one um, hydrating base this is a primer as well I didn't want to use this primer I went instead with my Yves Saint Laurent Touche Club blur primer which I'm also actually really loving and I'm gonna do a review of that one for you guys maybe after this video who knows so the regular makeup forever HD foundation originally came out to kind of help with the challenges of high-definition TV so the more high-def your TV got the more you were able to see all the imperfections and the skin and stuff like that and if you guys want to look at a video um, any one of my other videos if you look at it in 480 the blurriness of it, it it definitely kind of helps to kind of conceal any imperfections or mistakes I may have made if you put it in 720 or 1080 the easier it is to see those imperfections so that's why they came out with the original HD foundation to just kind of help your foundation to look amazing and beautiful under HD crisper clearer HD technologies so the ultra HD was created to kind of meet up with the ever 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 changing technological industry so now we have this thing called 484k technology so 4k basically means four times HD it's also called ultra HD hence the name ultra HD foundation so 4k technology basically means that it is four times crisper and clearer than regular 1080p so regularly um, a uh, regular definition TV would be like 1920 times 1080 which basically refers to the lines going up and across on a screen so a thousand and eighty lines going up 1920 lines going across so with 4k technology now it is 2160 lines going up and 3840 lines going across so pretty much what that means is that you can fit 1080p regularly into a quarter of uh, 4k TV I don't know if that makes sense but that's my understanding of it so this was basically created to look even better under 4k technology so that is why they came up with the ultra HD just basically to meet the challenges and meet the needs of you know people who are in the industry who really want to have that flawless coverage foundation for when they're on TV uh, so that's why that was created so after taxes mine came to 5695 if you round that up it's 57 if you round it up again it's sixty dollars sixty dollars is a lot of money for a foundation it's definitely not the most expensive foundation I have bought though which also makes me love it a lot more because I absolutely love this foundation and it was cheaper than some of my really high-end foundations like my Yves Saint Laurent Touche Cla, um, Illuminating Foundation, my Marc Jacobs Foundation I think also too it was cheaper than my NARS foundation I'm not sure but it this foundation is a really good price for what you get and that's the thing when you get into the more high-end range of foundations expect to pay anywhere from 40 even upwards of hundred dollars for a foundation this foundation has what you call hyaluronic filling spheres which basically is just this technology created to kind of um, fill in the fine lines that are on your face which means that the foundation won't settle into the fine lines so it just makes your skin look a lot more smooth and a lot more flawless 8k technology is also out now which is like ultra ultra HD 
<laughs> so this foundation has a huge range of colors to choose from for your skin tone. So the regular Makeup Forever HD foundation had 26 shades. This new line has 40 shades. That's 14 more shades. And if you were concerned that you wouldn't be able to find your shade if you're using the regular HD foundation, they came up with this nifty little idea to put the old shade on the box equals to the new shade. So if you were, say for example, I'm 177, so if you were 177 in the HD, then you are now Y505 like myself in the, um, in the new HD. Y just stands for yellow base, so I have a yellow undertone and then it also is divided into red bases, so there the foundation shades are Y and red. So because I'm a yellow undertone, my shade is Y505 and if you were red base or red undertone, then it would be R something something. That's pretty much how the shades work. I really, really love this foundation. I love the packaging. I love how simple it is but also at the same time very professional. I'm not a makeup artist, but I imagine makeup artists are going crazy over this foundation. It is just absolutely amazing, absolutely beautiful on the skin. Based on my first impressions, I would say if you have the money to spare, go out and buy it. I don't think there probably are better foundations, but I'm gonna hold out and I'm just gonna stick with this one. Um, I was very skeptical, but absolutely love it. Absolutely love this foundation. I think they did an amazing job of whatever recreation that they did. Assuming that this is supposed to be better and based on all the other reviews that I've seen, this is way better than the old HD. It goes on really nicely onto the skin. The color match is going to be really great. Like I said, they have 40 shades, so you shouldn't really have a problem finding the right shade for your skin tone. That is one of the hugest, one of the largest shade ranges in foundations that you will find. Uh, so I would definitely say hop into a Sephora or a Makeup Forever booth and check this foundation out. And if you do love it, let me know what you think, because this stuff, yo. But that is it for my first impressions, demo, and review. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, let me know in the comment section below. And I listed everything that I used on my face. I've also added a bit of information about the foundation as well down below. So if you have any questions, or if you're unsure of something, or if you missed something, check the description box. Um, and you'll probably find the answers to that. But thank you guys so much for watching. Please do not forget to subscribe. You can do that by clicking the subscribe button that is, I believe, below this video, or you can click directly onto my little, um, my little icon or logo here to subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch you later. Bye.